everybody and welcome back to my channel <laughs> right the gamer bear channel so today we are going to start off we are getting back in the saddle with saint maker by yang yang mobile so i don't know what this game is about other than it's religious horror and it literally just came out today like a few hours ago <laughs> So, yeah, it's a horror game from the guys who made the letter. Some of you might know that, some of you may not. Either way, both are great. It's a great game. Uh, so, let's see how this one pans out. I was very intrigued because it's apparently religious horror. And I'm a sucker for all things religious horror. Yeah, it just scares the crap out of me. Let's see how I fare with this one. Okay, let's start. Please, nobody yell at me. Nobody, nobody scream at me. Please, please, for the love of God, don't scream at me. Don't scream at me. Okay, that's a lot of blood. Somewhere in the forest is a stream. Oh, nice, nice. Just as, just as I start this stream, there's, there had to be a cat just outside my window. God. <laughs> As if this game is not terrifying enough! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save this. Oh! Multiple save spots. Oh, multiple save spots. This thing has multiple endings, doesn't it? It just had to happen! Now oh, that cat freaked me out! Maybe a flower bed and a grove a... full of old trees. What? Like the ones in storybooks. Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. Oh, what? <laughs> There's like stupid cats outside my house. Anyway, let's, let's just ignore that. Continue. But anyway. I wish that cat would leave. Focus, Holly. Get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. So this is Holly. I saw the demo to this, and apparently her name is Holly Beltran. Oh, there's, there's, there's no... There's no character pages. Just a log. That's unfortunate. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for codexes, in-game codexes and stuff that lets us know more about the characters. This isn't some storybook. Mm -hmm. Fairies? They aren't real. This is where the demo actually started off. It's like what mom always said. There are only <coughs> angels and demons. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I'm sorry. I promise I don't have COVID. It's just cough. Huh. Of course it had to be a setting like this. So this is the place. Who in their right mind would go to a place like this? It's clearly haunted. Huh. Doors open. Horror logic. Oh no, no, no. Hello? Excuse me, is anyone here? Maybe the whole thing got cancelled. That'd be nice. I'll have the whole place to myself. Why would you want that? Good god. Huh. All the mysterious adventures I could get into, alone in an abandoned convent. No parents, no adults, just me. Is that? Huh. Oh, that must be them. Oh, so much for that fantasy. Let's see how long an hour, an hour or forty-five minutes would get. Because I have to vacate the premises after this PC reminder. It's coming from further in. Hello! Oh! I probably shouldn't disturb them. I heard that some nuns spend their entire lives singing prayers. 
prayers for God. Prayers for, God, for the sinners. Though, sounds like it'd get boring after a while. I'd be bored after 15 minutes of doing that. It does. A little bit. <laughs> but, well, it's, it's for a good cause. Our order's sacred mission and all that. None of those people look like nuns. In fact, they all look like statues. Why would you think they're actual nuns? Are you blind, Holly? <laughs> invest in a pair of glasses instead of a recollection retreat. Shush! Lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Oh, oh sorry. Now that's a bit loud. Where the hell did she come from? Hey, you're in the house of God. Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a man. <laughs> Is everything all right? You were talking to yourself. <laughs> as Manly Bada as Hero said, she has a serious case of main character syndrome. <laughs> Was that? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's alright. I do that too. This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Very special air. That sounds like code for this place is haunted and you should run away. Um, yeah. I gotta say, this place, it's bigger than I expected. Oh yes, I used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. <laughs> and here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I'm here for the recollection? Oh, yes, yes, of course! Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. Stunning. I see. Uh, thank you very much, and, um, sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, they're getting younger every year. What does that mean? Huh? That sounds ominous. What does that mean? Oh, Again, nothing. Mean? It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yeah. Sure. sure. Mm. Oh, sh I pressed the end for two minutes and then I was like... I'm 15, I'm not that young. Oh. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Maybe it was that stupid little scream I made. Nice job, Polly. Looking real composed back there. Is this the place? That's a lot of statues. What's going on here? Huh? Whoa. Looks like someone's tra been trying to put it back together piece by piece. Oh. That's creepy. Must have taken a lot of work. Though, still doesn't look right. Careful, plaster's still fresh on that one. Just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape. <laughs> Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? Oh, I've heard of her. Born 1381, died 1457. Patron saint of lost and impossible causes. Um, yes, a bit. At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. Well, of course. Apart from the course in those times. 12 year olds getting married. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent, vengeful. And so, she prayed to God to save their souls. Hmm. Creepy. Okay, so that's, that's kind of a abridged version of St. Rita's story. That's not how it went. That's not exactly how it went. And so, God answered. They died of disease soon after. <laughs> Divine intervention, I guess. <laughs> that's that's very nice. Best way to save your kids' souls. 
a harsh lesson, but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I... I see. <laughs> but enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. Well, well, maybe if you let Holly talk, lady, instead of, like, you know, going on a tangent about Saint Rita, maybe she'd introduce uh, oh, herself. Oh, hello there. I'm Holly Beltron. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. And so you chose to trespass instead? Nuns, man. I mean, I'm not saying uh, hashtag not, not all nuns, but God. W what was she supposed to do? What? No, I didn't mean to. I was just... Give whatever name you want to your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. Nuns, man. <laughs> oh, my camera. I'm sorry. There we go. Your bags. Kindly lay them down. My bags? Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes, contraceptives, pornography. <laughs> Can you imagine bringing such things into the house of God? Astounding. I... I don't like religious retreats as much as the next person. I hated it going to college, but not even I was stupid enough to bring pornography or cigarettes to, to a retreat. <coughs> Excuse me. That's horrible. Hang on. Somebody's messaging me from work. Because... Why not? Why not? Office man. I should have covered it. Oh, what did you bring? Did you actually bring porn to the monastery? I'm sorry, the convent? Or at least kept it in a hidden pocket. Not that my bag has Hmm, any. well, what do we have here? I knew it. Why did I even bring that stupid Kylie thing? Kylie Taylor, the sorceress of Witchwood. So, it's gender-bent Harry Potter. That's what it is. Uh, that's just something I'm reading. Oh, yes. Well, it is always good to read. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich. They can teach. She sounds like she's about to pop a blood vessel. But when observing a work, never forget to take spirituality into account. Especially when it comes to material written for young, impressionable minds. Hmm. And there it was. Cradle just beneath the canopy of elder trees, candlelight pouring from the notched windows, and the sound of laughter echoing from within. This was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Hey! It's Harry Potter! Magic. Such an innocent sounding word. But, dear child, there are no greys when it comes to witchcraft. All of it, black as sin. Who hurt you? I don't, I don't believe anybody just is just born like this. Like, something's had to have happened to you for you to be like this much of a stick in the mud. A proper child of God would know this. Uh, it's... Alright. Calm down. You can do this. You've always been good at this. So which one are we all which one has she always been good at this? Telling people what they want to hear or playing stupid? Uh, okay, I guess it it says it works all the time, so I guess play dumb. I had no idea. Is what are you at. sure? From what I've read it seems harmless. The worst things always seem harmless. See, you were she was giving us crap for not introducing ourselves when she hasn't even introduced herself, herself judging from these question marks as her name. Th that's true. Right. Ignorance on my part. I really should do more research when it comes to these things. 
but I've barely read any of it. And now that I know, I can just return it to the bookstore. No harm done. Hmm. Hmm. Notes scribbled on the margins. Creases on the spine. Edges are worn. I have an eye for detail. You suck up lying. <laughs> light, light further, light further. Come in. You can feign ignorance all you Say want. You got it from a but the Lord is always water. watching. <laughs> I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Are you really? Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. Well, she lied. <laughs> just not the lie we expected. <laughs> oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Hang on. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. Anyone I want to be. Y yes, I understand. That... that sounds great. Well, now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. I am Sister Adira, and I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. Hello. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And as for your book, I think it's best that I keep it. <laughs> uh, as expected. But... But she can't just... Take it? Yes, she can. It's a recollection. It's a retreat. But fine, we're gonna try this. Don't let her take it. She can. Wait, please! I. Yes? <laughs> yes, she can. Of course, she can. There's no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. You are a doormat! <laughs> it's nothing. Never mind. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? Y yes I... At least I didn't bring any of my fanfics. <laughs> well, uh, weak. I brought my fanfics to the recollection. <laughs> She'd have a field day with those. Oh, wait here for just a moment. This should suit you just fine. Prayer journal for teens. Pray with style. <laughs> I don't know how one does that, but okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There's prayers at the end of every page. A journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. It helps to have an anchor. That way we can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be best to keep a record of your thoughts. As we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But if you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. So I'm gonna assume this, this game is gonna take place over the course of a week. She said she did say this next week, so let's assume that. A story of your own personal journey with God. Oh, you're getting the heebie-jeebies already. Can I trust you to do that? Yes, ma'am. And thank you. Sister Adira. Please call me Sister Adira. For our time together, I'd like to think of us as family. Family. Like I needed more of that. Now! Come this way. Okay. I'll show you to your room. She has trauma from home. But why is she getting sent here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, not sister even, not even Adira. Sister went into death over that. <laughs> Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the third page. Pink ink. Strawberry scent. Limited edition cover. Sign. 
and I'm never seeing it again. That's not true, actually. After after you finish the recollection, you can always ask it back. Otherwise, it's thievery on the part of the convent. Because they have to return it. They're, usually, they only confiscate it for the duration of the recollection. So, stop being melodramatic, Holly. You can get it back. God damn it. <laughs> In the convent. <sighs> it's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. They're not here for that. You're here to be better. So what exactly are we fixing with you here? This has this reeks conversion therapy all over it. <laughs> oh hello. You look like you type my favorite you cast my favorite type of magic. Oh, I'm Gabriella. This is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. It's call me Gabby. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name you were born with, and I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse. Yeah, but God doesn't give us our names, our parents do. So you can't exactly say it's God-given now, can you? <laughs> right. No nicknames allowed. That's news to me. And I hope it's news you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. Oh god, I understand her. I would hate this place too. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Oh boy. Well, we're off to a good start. Okay, just do what you do best, Holly. You know the drill. Tell her that Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Let them know how excited you are to be. I think this is the best option because I feel like being old Genki girl would piss this woman off. Hello there. Pleased to meet you. My name's Holly. And for the record, I think Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Had a classmate named Gabriella. Really smart. Ran for the student council. Uh... Though now that I think about it, she might have lost. It was close, though. Read the room. She doesn't want to talk. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. As of now, Miss Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first thing in... Really, just the two of you. Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. <sighs> Can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. There she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real subtle, girl. Oh, I think you know the answer, Gabriella. <sighs> distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Yeah, sure. Um, th that's true, Miss th Sister Adira. I believe these few weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. Hmm. Lick that boot harder, girl. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. Recollections like these are a very special opportunity, and I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> Jesus, say that a bit louder, way, don't you? She, she likes to take the name of the Lord in vain a lot in a convent, doesn't she? I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. Okay, it's 9-11. So, 9-11. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the time right now, so we have about 20 minutes. But so. until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. Pray. Uh -huh. She sure is something. But maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. Like it or not, we're roommates now. I should probably say something to her. Though, 
doesn't look like we have much in common. What's up? You're staring. Oh, sorry. I... I was just wondering. Okay, Holly. Here goes. Just play it cool. She's got cute bracelets. Talk about that. Will we try asking her about the place? Let's go for the place. So, um... This place... It's pretty weird, right? Look. Let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for, exactly? Whoa, hold up there. Why is it sounding like prison talk? I excuse me? What do you mean? This isn't exactly a prime summer destination. Dingy convent up in the mountains, prayer sessions every other hour, Bible readings, character building lectures. Pretty sure they'll even have us do chores and yeah, stuff. Yeah, get the idea. You don't really go here unless, you know, you're one of those types. Those lesbomancers? Oh, I see. I don't know. I know nothing about Holly. <laughs> well, I might not like it here, but I needed this. Time away from home, away from my parents. They worry. I mean, of course they worry. After everything that's happened. What happened? I mean, true, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. Man, you really like lying to yourself, don't you? <laughs> I'll go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Yeah, that's the plan. Um... Hello? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah! Sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to answer. No, no! You see, um... <coughs> Excuse me? It's not something I want to talk about. I should probably say that. But does that come off as rude? Just tell her the truth. Make something up. Well, it's just the two of us. Tell her the truth, I guess. Worst thing she can do is just stop us mid rant No, that's stupid. Why am I even given choices for these things? Where would I even begin? I should just make something up. I see. Well, in that case, I don't think we have much to talk about. Wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. I don't want to be here. And if you're thinking that by the end of this, we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and, I don't know, having Bible study sessions together or whatever. <sighs> you're mistaken. Whoa. Oh. All right. All right. Jeez. Glad we got that out of the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got stuff to unpack. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> What the hell is her deal? I'm just trying to make things work. Well, I guess this is my bed for the next few days. I should start me passing too. Not the nicest looking place. Well, it's full of cracks. But maybe if I fix it up a bit. There we go, looking better already. A little corner to call my own. Been a while since I've shared a room with someone. It's been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. It all feels so familiar. <sighs> Maybe a bit too familiar. <sighs> What's up with that? Just put that picture down. Yeah, I think that's better for now. Huh, what else do I have here? Story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes, huh? I really wish I had my book. <laughs> Would be nice getting lost in the pages. The turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. It's all it takes to get to the mysterious world of Witchwood. This is a prayer journal, Holly. Holly, this is a prayer journal. What the hell are you writing? Yeah, just what am I doing? I'm in a recollection for God's sake. Now's not the time to indulge in these distractions. My dearest Heavenly Father, well, here I am, 
I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be with me every step of the way. You started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. I don't recall this being in the demo. Amen. Night. Night? Night? Are, are you sure? Achievement unlocked! A new home! Yay! What the fuck? Oh dear. Oh. Hey! Holly! Liana. Huh? Liana? What are you doing? Uh, I... I can't sleep. That's not my problem. That sounds like a you problem. I forget the part where that's my problem. Huh, I can fix that. Behold my special move! Huh? Whoa! Liana! Okay, okay, I'm up. Coming through the window. Haha! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Ugh. <coughs> Yana. Huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Wanna see it? Oh, wow. Oh. I don't remember mom buying she this. Bought, um, she didn't. No, he lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? It wasn't even her book. <laughs> see? Her name's Kylie. She's strong and brave. Just like someone else I know. Huh? You really think so? Nah, just trying to get on your good side. Right. Yeah, I guess you are not brave. I can see that. <laughs> you are neither strong nor brave so far. Oh, oh, but here's the coolest part. She's... She's a witch! Yeah, I haven't seen in a while. Dragon! It was a dragon! It's not my fault Mom wasn't listening! And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this! Oh... Okay, I can piece a little something something here. They come from a religiously abusive home, don't they? Look, Liana. You need to stop getting yourself in trouble. Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... Give it back as soon as you can. Let's see, look at all those Bibles in one in one bookshelf. Yeah, this is a religiously abusive household. Well, about that, you see, I was um thinking maybe we could read it together, just like how we used to. Really? Y yeah, but. If you don't wanna... No! It's... Okay. Sure. We can read it. But only because the cover looks cool. Come on over here. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Okay, here we go. The Whispering Forest. The sky was a muddy brown. As brown and muddy as the grounds around St. Mary's Orphanage. Despite this, Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? I like her! She's mine. I'm doing her voice. You don't even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling! That's cute. Mom! Holly, hide the book! Shh, quiet! Stay still. Oh my god, does she have COVID? Oh wait, no. Holly's covering her mouth, so she can't leave. Oh Jesus Christ, did you accidentally kill her sister? Oh my god, that's fun. She accidentally killed her sister. Oh, is this the paralysis? Is this the Can't move. Oh no. I, I can't move. It's okay. This is <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> like she's right there. 
right now she's the epitome of that burning of the dog sits on table and they hurts around me. This is fine. I have sleep paralysis. This is fine. I'm just stuck in between sleeping and waking up. Yeah, it's sleep paralysis. It's pretty tall. This is fine. We're about to die. This is fine. Something's gonna come out else. This is fine. Whoa! What the fuck? save this before I die. <laughs> oh god, I'm actually nervous. I thought I was prepared for this. I thought I prepared myself for this, but I'm actually nervous. See, I'm sweating. Uh, of course you can't see that, but I'm sweating. Okay. okay. Climactic. I was expecting something to jump at me. <laughs> Not pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, I guess that shows me how to shows me to trust the demo from these guys. Cause I did see bits and pieces of the demo, and that was not how that dream sequence went. There it is, the first rays of morning light. Breathe deep. Take it in. Another day, another brilliant gift from God. Sure. Yeah, I guess. I agree. Another opportunity to serve. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it, though it still wouldn't be enough for her. Oh, so this is the this is the nun's point of view now. Cracks still need to be filled. Blemishes need to be sanded. And of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more important matters. I must not be distracted. My dearest Heavenly Father, you visited me in your dreams last night. Don't worry, I remember. In my hands you put a chisel, in the other the Holy Bible. Their use perfectly clear. It sounds impractical for carving, but okay. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It has been a while. I am a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength, the strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. And may your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be the women you want them to be. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's get ready. We got a busy day ahead of us after all. How's our girl Holly? She's still alive. Liana? Huh? Who? Who? Oh, um, sorry. It's nothing. We've got 30 minutes. 30 minutes to what? Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be <coughs> late now, would we? Huh. Yeah, sure. No white walls, no flower curtains, no mom, no Liana. You're not home. Get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You've got this. Remember, no distractions. Okay, so, um, uh, this has gone on for long enough. It's been 40 minutes. I guess we got a minor scare there. Wasn't even that scary. I just was not expecting it to be like that. So let's go back to the main menu for now. So yeah, that is so far. That is our taste of Saint Maker. We have arrived at the convent. 
we got sleep paralysis and I'm pretty sure that our character Holly just killed her younger sister by accident. So, what are the answers to this mystery? I don't know yet, but I guess we will find out soon enough. I am on holiday tomorrow, so I will stream. I will continue live streaming this tomorrow since I'm on holiday. So, anyway, that's it for now, guys. Bye.